Dragon Raja is one of the most popular cross-platform anime MMOs available right now. Not only does it feature an enormous open world that continues to expand in size, but it features a diverse selection of mounts, both aerial and land, hundreds of outfits, a robust character creator, and you guys know, just as much as I do, that I love a robust character creator, as I feel like we all do. This is a game that left its mark and continues to introduce new, regular content, which is honestly why we're here today. I come back to Dragon Raja every single year, once or twice a year, to see how things are going, to see which new class or classes have been introduced into the game. So, naturally, when the devs reached out to me earlier this month, and they said, hey Sticks, do you wanna take a sponsored look at the new Elementalist class before it releases? I thought, hell yeah, early access to new content is great. With this in mind, if Dragon Raja is something you might be interested in playing or returning to, I urge you to take a moment, go down into the description and the pinned comment below, click that link, come on over, and join me. Trust me, you're going to want to, because they have an event going on right now in celebration of their fourth anniversary. Sports Day has officially begun. And I know, trust me, I know, there probably aren't really that many of you out there that are interested in sports, interested in physically exhausting yourself when you could instead have hot waifus to play with or as, which is why all of the activities actually feature hot waifus. Over at Castle College, which is where we all go to school, you'll find various different characters with tasks that provide you with a plethora of rewards, like busy preparation, which has you test a number of different workout equipment. Here, you can see me well, you, you know, you can see me doing pull-ups. Yeah, it's not easy being a hero, saving the world. You have to stay in shape. Staying in shape isn't easy, which is why I have a pull-up bar and do pull-ups. And yes, I am doing pull-ups in that dress, which is absolutely crazy to think about. Afterwards, I proceed to engage my core with sit-ups and crunches. This is just part of my everyday routine that comes with being a hero. If Saitama has taught me absolutely anything, it is that 100 squats, 100 sit-ups, and 100 push-ups every single day will make me invincible. There are other mini games as well, such as finger guessing, which is more or less rock, paper, scissors. This is equally as difficult as rock, paper, scissors as well. And admittedly, when I did it, I happened to lose very badly. But I feel like the character that I was versing cheated. She changed her choice at the last second. Otherwise, I totally would have won. Let's play this out so you guys can see it. There are five rounds. I choose paper that defeats her rock. Next, she decides she's gonna go rock versus my scissors. That's perfectly understandable. Next, I go rock, she goes paper. After that, I go rock again, she goes rock, so it's a draw. And finally, I go rock, she goes scissors but then it immediately changes to paper so she cheated she actually cheated that was unbelievably unfair and apparently the loser has to go up and pick up all the trash around the area which i feel like i never agreed to now the main focus for me with coming back with doing a video and covering this is actually the new elementalist class i think one of the draws for people like me who never really play MMOs for too long due to our rapid completion of content and disinterest in repetitious content is new classes. Dragon Raja pushes out new classes actually fairly regularly. I remember covering last year's class and this year's class, a wielder of four different elements is much cooler. Before playing the new Elementalist class, you're required to hit level 90 on a different class, meaning you create your character an area that Dragon Raja really provides you a lot of in terms of options. A lot of control over your face, over your body, yeah. Yeah, you can definitely fill in your character in all the right areas. Upon hitting level 90, you can change into the new Elementalist class, and that is where the fun truly begins. The Elementalist class is described as being an incredibly intelligent student, which makes sense. She wields powerful elemental magics after all. As a mage, she takes on the role of a long range magical DPS. Although she also happens to have some support abilities to give her a little bit of self-sustain. As much as I love playing glass cannons, they do die very easily, especially if you're a solo player, which 
ultimately makes things not really that fun. She has control over fire, water, earth, and wind, and accumulates elemental charge when using abilities within each respective element. Interestingly, her ultimate ability is determined by which element has the most charge at the time of use, meaning technically, she has several different playstyles. You can even combine and chain elements together, like fire and earth to create an AoE stun, wind and fire to generate a flaming tornado. The new Elementalist class really, really does look great. It has some fantastic special effects and honestly demolishes enemies at quite an insane rate. No character or class would be complete without a matching outfit though. And as we're no doubt all, Aware, the real endgame in MMOs is outfit collection. And Dragon Raja is absolutely filled with outfits for both male and female. Just cycling through all of them literally takes minutes and every single one of them both looks and feels relatively unique. There are tons of different possible combinations accessories, hairstyles, actual outfits, providing you an egregious number of ways to really stand out amongst your peers, amongst the other heroes. One thing I've never actively touched on was player housing. And honestly, that's because it's a feature I never even knew existed, but I was pleasantly surprised to see that not only could we purchase our own lot of land, but we could also decorate and fill it. You can build and customize your own home. You can have friends come over and critique your designer skills. You can visit other players' homes, you can look around their homes and realize that your home and your designer skills actually kind of suck. But it gives you a place to kind of just like retire after a long day's work saving the world. Dragon Raja is a next gen open world MMO that to date still manages to provide us a game that honestly looks pretty damn good on mobile. I've always thought this. It's a game with a very extensive story that takes players all around the world. It has dungeons, it has raids, tons of events and multiplayer content that happens at regular scheduled intervals every single day. It has a plethora of customization options that allow you to really craft a character that suits your own distinct look and style, both in terms of facial and body construction, and outfits. The new events are a fantastic starting or returning point for players. If you're beginning the game for the first time, you'll find the free login rewards actually go ways to providing you a significant advantage over waiting until the events are over. If you're a returning player after a leave of absence, well, you'll not find an easier time than right now to jump back into the game and continue from where you left off. The new Elementalist class is a great addition to an already stacked selection of classes for players to enjoy with its own unique dynamic gameplay, which is always where my main interest lies. Again, if this looks like something that you might be interested in playing, either as a new player or as a returning player, then I urge you to take a moment, go down into the description of the pinned comment below, and click that link to download the game. Worst case scenario, you waste a little bit of time. Best case, you enjoy yourself and waste a whole lot of time.